to find, you know, most of a skeleton as it's turning out is, uh, does not happen every day or even every decade. So it's, uh, it, it is very exciting for us. Researchers near Morden, Manitoba have made a dino mite discovery. They believe they have potentially found a full-size fossil of a Mosasaur dinosaur, which lived more than 80 million years ago. Find more that way. Seems to be heading that way. It's a discovery Jerry Peters has been waiting on for quite some time. He and his team at the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre have unearthed potentially the biggest fossil found in Manitoba in decades. We don't know nearly everything, not even close to what uh, the world was like in our area 80 million years ago. So uh, stuff like this, any support uh, that we have can really, really help further that. Peter says they made the discovery in June and have been uncovering several other fossils since then. Just on Wednesday, he says they found their first tooth connected to the Mosasaur vertebrae, which he says is significant. What we had found to start with looks like it's the tail, and now we're slowly following the, uh, the backbone all the way back up to the head. So now we found, uh, uncovered our first tooth, so that's a great sign that the skull will be found as well. Sabrina Fraze is in her third year at the University of Manitoba, studying a double major in anthropology and history, and is hoping to have a career in archaeology. She is working with Peters as a summer student and was the researcher who found the Mosasaur tooth. I've found a couple of arrowheads in my time, but this is definitely far above any of that. <laughs> it's, it's quite an honor to be involved in something this big and this, this groundbreaking. 80 million years ago, Manitoba was right in the heart of a saltwater sea called the Western Interior Sea and was home to some of history's most fearsome creatures. The Morden area southwest of Winnipeg is a hot spot for finding fossils. In 2004, a team of researchers found a 23-foot-long plesiosaur nicknamed Betsy in a cow pasture. There's so much history just around you. Like, I had no idea how much I could actually get into here in Morden, and it's just insane what I can actually be involved in. Peter says he hopes his team can uncover the entire fossil by fall before the winter hits. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa, City News.